Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Wheezy B here, and welcome to episode number 4 of my Showdown Team Reviews. So this team I've built around my Mega Absol, Sephiroth. Obviously he's holding the Absolite with Magic Bounce, of course, because that's the only ability he gets. And then for the moveset we've got Swords Dance, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Play Rough. Now this moveset is pretty common I suppose you could say. Uh, play Rough is one of the specialty moves I suppose. That's mainly because I don't have much fire, uh, dragon coverage. Like if a Kingdra came in I'd be in a lot of shit so that's why I've got that. And then for the moveset, uh, for the EV spread sorry, we've got 252 special attack. Why is that? It's meant to be physical attack. <laughs> uh, 252 physical attack. And then he's got 4 in special defense, just because both defense were neutral, so I didn't know which one to put it in. And it's got 252 speed. So it's a good mon. It has very good it has good coverage, I suppose. Like it can force a fair few switches if they think if they know it's a mega and they want to switch out. I've got knockoff for that. Uh, sword stance so I can start sucker punching away and play rough for any dragon types that come in. Namely just really things like Haxorus and I said it before who was Kingdra because Kingdra has no real weak as biggest weakness is fairy so that's why I've got fairy on her on him and then we've got Albert the Alakazam he's holding the life orb because he doesn't take damage due to magic guard his ability which is really good and then for his moveset I've got Psyshock, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball and Dazzling Gleam Again, I don't like to have coverage just on, like, if I've got coverage for a certain type of Pokemon, I want it on at least two. That's why both Sephiroth and Albert both have Dazzle and Gleam. I could swap that out, I suppose, but I like it, to be honest. Having a quick look down at his moveset. Nothing really pops to me, to be honest. Maybe, no, even then I couldn't really recover. No, to me that feels like the best, so that's what I'm running with. I like it, it's good. And then for my EV spread, I've got max special attack, uh, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed with a uh, 2 mid nature to ensure that I can outspeed anything that comes in. And of course, at 120 base at speed, that's really good, so that's what we're running with. Um, yeah, so that's him. Then we've got Erwin the for Alligator. He's holding a Life Orb with Sheer Force. For his moveset, we've got Dragon Dance to set up, Ice Punch, Waterfall, and Crunch. I do like this moveset to be honest, it's really good on him. Uh, they all do have, yeah, they all have special things, so they do get boosted by Sheer Force, that's good. And then for his moveset, uh, EV spread, sorry, not moveset, we've got 252 attack. Uh, 4 in special defense because that's the lowest defense so it's the best one to put it in to try and get me a bit more stats in there and then we've got 252 HP uh, 252 speed sorry not HP so I can ensure I outspeed my opponent I've also got an adamant nature to boost my attack just so I can hit a little bit harder and then a new Pokemon I don't use all that often is Gus the Amoongus he's holding the black sludge with the regenerator ability obviously so when I switch out I can get my HP back. I'm um, running Spore, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb and Foul Play on this one. The main point I have with this G Amoongus is I can use a Spore on the opponent and then switch into either Erwin or Sephiroth so that I can try and set up with them. It does give good setup opportunities and then I can sweep. I have tried it, it does work at times. And there's also, with Spore, I can also use it to put an opponent to sleep that Albert might be able to chip down or Stratos can chip down. So it works out really good. And then I've just got Foul Play in case I've got a really good physical attacker against me. And I can hit it back with its own attack. For the EV spread, we've got 252 in HP, 240 in defense, and 16 in special defense just to try and help me take a few special defensive hits in case they're unexpected. And we've got a bold nature on that. And then we've got Stratos the Rotom Heat holding the leftovers. Sorry about that. Holding the leftovers with Levitate. 
Uh, we've got Pain Split, Volt Switch, Willow Wisp, and Overheat on this. Pain Split to get my HP back, obviously, because I am a special defensive variant of Rotom Heat. Uh, then we've got Volt Switch so I can switch out without having to hard switch. You know, it helps out, get the switch, switch initiative. Uh, then we got Willow Wisp to burn any physical attackers that may come in on me. And Overheat, obviously, for Stab. Uh, then for the EV spread, we have 252 in HP. Uh, we have 4 in Special Attack, just to try and get us that little bit more Special, uh, special Damage with our Overheat and Volt Switch. And then we got Max Special Defense in order to try and take as many defensive hits as we can. And a Calm Nature for the same reason I just said. Uh, then we've got... I'll wait for this to load, sorry. It's, the webpage has been really buggy at the moment for me. Uh, is it going to read it? Come on. Uh, then we got Kyber the Cobellion. He's holding the leftovers with obviously the justified ability. And then for the moveset, I've given it Stealth Rocks in case we have like Pidgeots and things like that on the field. So that will help get rid of them or put pressure on them. Uh, Volt Switch so I can... Volt Switch so I don't actually have to hard switch if I know I outspeed. It does come in handy, it doesn't deal a lot of damage, but every little bit counts at the end of the game, I suppose. Uh, then we got Iron Head for Stab, and Close Combat is our main source of Stab. So the plan with Kyber, all in all, is to start off, like go in, use a Close Combat, and then if I outspeed, Volt Switch out. It does work, and a lot of people don't see the Volt Switch coming sometimes, so it does work out really good for you. Or if you know they're going to switch, obviously go for a Volt Switch afterwards for the Switch Initiative. Uh, then for the EV spread, we've got max attack, I've put 4 into defense just to try and help me get take a bit more defensive hits, and we've also got max speed, so that's that. Uh, it's a pretty standard set to be honest, I have seen it run a few times, that's why I picked it up. It is pretty cool, it does do its job really well. This team is pretty balanced to be honest, like not too much really threatens me a lot. Like, my main Mega is weak to, what, uh, Sperry, which Gus covers, so that's great. Uh, then there's a Bug Weakness, which Stratos also covers, so they, you know, everyone co complements each other. Uh, there's Albert's Weakness to, well, Bug, Fl uh, Bug, Dark, and Ghost. I don't have anyone for Ghost, particularly. Actually, a Dark-type move might be nice on here. What I might do, can I get Dark Pulse? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, we'll keep. Uh, what move was it? Dazzling Gleam. I'll keep Dazzling Gleam for now. It does work. I've tried this team out a few times, so it does work out for me. Uh, Ghost is only really covered by Erwin and. Oh, and Absol too, yeah, so it works out. Sorry, I completely forgot about Absol for a second then. Alright, so looking at this team, it does look good. If there's any other tiers you want me to dabble in for next week, guys, let me know, and I'm more than happy to try and build a team around there. Although I can't promise it'll be great, because I'm still trying to get in touch with the meta and stuff, and UU is where I'm most comfortable at the moment. So that's where I'm likely to stay for a bit. I will leave, of course. Like, I have got a fair few teams. Uh, I'll give you a quick spoiler list on my teams. Got a couple teams here, mostly all UU teams, but I do have some OU teams like this Rain team. Uh, I've got my Mega Low Punny and Draining Kiss Sylveon set. And I've also got a couple, where are they? There's another uh, OU set there uh, Gliscor, Gardevoir, Gudra, Slowbro, Zapdos, and Latias. And then there's also a VGC team somewhere here. Here. Uh, my Clefable, Vivalon, Meowstic, Blaziken, Crobat, and Mega Lopunny team. That's a pretty cool team. I'm um, not great at O at U at um not O U or U U bloody VGC. I'm not the best, but you know I like to must mess around in there. So I couldn't get over that. Got a bit tongue tied there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this team. So let me know what you guys think. I'm um, thinking about doing a little show, a showdown replay at the end of this video just to try and get a bit more time in it because this is only like 10 minute long video and that kind of sucks for a Monday. So let me get know what you guys think and you know me, I'm the Wheezy B, and I'll see you in the next video.